Hey guys, and welcome to the first episode of The Terra Show. This is going to be a show where I choose one topic and try to make a discussion out of it. Every Tuesday, a new show will be uploaded, and I will use your clever remarks, feedback, ideas, and arguments for new show topics. So, even though this is going to be a monologue, hopefully it feels like I'm talking with you and not just at you. Last week, Nintendo reported its financial results. The quarterly numbers are not that good, but the Wii U sales are terrible. The game company hoped to sell 9 million units by the end of March 2014, and now they've slashed that number to only 2.9 million by the end of the quarter. 2.9 million units? Back when the Wii U launched, they were expecting to sell 4 million units by the end of 2013 March. So that means one year later, they're not even expecting to hit the 4 million mark, or get even close. What do you guys think about the poor sales of the Wii U? Do people even really understand the difference between the Wii and the Wii U other than just the gamepad? What is it that makes the Wii U so special that people would want to buy it? Personally, I think the only cool thing about it is its remake games. I mean, sure, there are a few cute games on there that are more exclusive and that aren't remakes, but still, mostly it's just Paper Mario, new Super Mario Brothers, new Donkey Kongs, and all of that kind of stuff. And before we actually jump into talking about the game specifically, I mean, what do you think about gaming on a second screen and how that works out? Do you think it's actually something that's revolutionary or is it just way too gimmicky? So regarding the games, it was reported that The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD would push the sales and maybe Super Mario 3D World would, but none of them have done the trick so far. I mean, what is it that the Wii U users have to look forward to? Is there anything that can actually push sales and make it worth it? We have Mario Kart 8, Super Smash Bros, and Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze to look forward to, but then again, it's more of the same. How long can people have their attentions kept by just a better version or another version with a different story of the exact same game that's been going on since like, what, the 80s? Bayonetta 2 is something that might actually do it. I don't think in itself it's going to actually push the sales enough to save the system, but I think that that's something to definitely look forward to. Bayonetta is a great franchise, but I don't know if it's enough to make people just go out and buy a Wii in mass amounts. Hyrule Warriors is a mix between Dynasty Warriors and Zelda. This is a pretty cool game as well, but again, do you think it's going to spark that much interest in everyone to just go out and spend hundreds of dollars on a console? If Super Mario can't do it and Zelda can't do it, do you think there's really anything that can save this tier 2 console? I don't know. In the console wars, it's pretty much just like, definitely not even mentioned. But what exactly do you guys think? Don't forget to share your opinions in the comments, we'll be reading them, going over them, and making sure we talk about them in next week's show. Also, if you have any topics that you would like me to talk about that are in the current gaming world, I'm open to it. For next week, I'm most likely going to talk about the future of World of Warcraft. How long until they pull the plug? Do you think this game should become free to play? And what are your best memories of playing World of Warcraft? I know I have a few of my own as a Beastmaster Hunter back in Cataclysm. Are you Alliance or Horde? Are you still playing World of Warcraft? And at what point did you stop if you're not? What is your favorite class and what is your favorite race? If you let me know down in the comments, maybe you'll be mentioned in next week's show. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you check out my own personal channel, which is down in the description. Lock Taragar!